Yeah, hey, Sasha, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, thanks. Uh, you and uh, your three classmates are the only players, obviously, who've played in an NCAA tournament. Uh, how can you apply that experience now to help your team? Yeah, obviously, just playing in um, in some big-time environments, big-time games, making it to the lead Eight and having some experience in the NCAA tournament is big for us because we are one of the youngest and least experienced teams here. Um, and honestly, the whole year, really. But... Uh, you know, it just shows like how, how hard we work to get to this get to this stage and you know we've played in games like this before like you said and um, you know we got to show that experience and, and not just uh, say it and uh, you know making sure that we uh, you know show that within these within this uh, first game Friday Mike and then Kevin yeah just uh, kind of staying with that just what of what are the freshmen? And I mean, have they, have they asked questions about it or is it just it's been kind of a, a normal week as much as it can be a normal week with you guys quarantined in a hotel? Yeah, I mean, you know, they ask questions here and there about, you know, obviously the games that we played in. And I think most people know, know the games that we've played in, in that year. And there were some big games. And, um, but yeah, it's been been a pretty much as normal normal as it can be a uh, week for us and obviously the quarantines and everything. But um you know, just trying to get used to going in and out of, you know, rooms all day and just, uh, you know, when we get out there on the practice floor, just making sure that we use our time wisely and, and go hard and, uh, you know, just try to help any of the younger guys as much as we can. Kevin, go ahead. Yeah, Sasha, this is your second full year as a starter. You just finished. At, what did you learn, do you think, from the first year last year? that you kind of uh, carried over into this year to improve your game? And how do you think that could carry over into the postseason? Into the tournament? Yeah, I think it's just, um, I think just becoming more of a, a steady player and um, a person that our team can rely on a little bit more. I think uh, last year I was just, you know, I was either, um, I don't know, I don't know the right word, but, you know, just turning the ball over, maybe not doing my defensive assignment or, taking bad shots or whatever it may be. Um, this year, I've just tried to try to be more steady, try to be, try to take good shots, take care of the ball, um, you know, make plays for others whenever, whenever I can. And, and that's kind of the main thing that I've, I've tried to take from last year's struggles into, into this year. Go Ross and then Alex. Hey, Sasha, uh, from a shooting perspective and just in general, how big of an how big of an advantage is it for you guys to play back-to-back -back games at Lucas with the depth and, and uh, everything that goes into playing a, in a big venue like that? Yeah, it probably helps us a little bit. Just, you know, I don't think a lot of us have really played in a football or a stadium like that. So obviously just getting used to uh, getting used to that environment kind of helps us. And, you know, we're going to go practice there today as well. So just, you know, just getting more reps, getting as much shots as you can in, in that type of environment. Uh, it's going to help us, and obviously we played a full game there, so um, you know we're we're more used to it than others, and uh, hopefully we you know we take that experience of, of that game, and and uh, hopefully it'll help us Friday. Alex, uh, so going back to your experience in the NCAA tournament, um, do you maybe have a message to the freshmen going into this tournament for the first time, and uh, to not let uh, the stage really get the better of them? Or yeah, I think it's just. Uh, it's really just doing your job, just trying not to not do too much um, within that game. Obviously, it's a big stage. It's, it's a little bigger of a game than you might have played in before. But um, just, you know, knowing your role, doing your job really well, um, that's what that's what's got us to this point. So, um, you know, doing that, you know, it's going to help us and uh, kind of relax your nerves in that game. Uh, Daniel, then back to Brian. Hey, Sasha, I wanted to ask, how, how are you guys staying busy in the hotel room? Because I can imagine being isolated. Are you watching movies or maybe pull up Netflix, some Xbox? What are you guys doing? Yeah, a little bit. I guess a little bit of uh, all of that. I, I think just, you know, a lot of TV, a lot of uh, you know, some guys brought video games, stuff like that. Uh, any, anytime that, you know, you could, you could do some homework and school stuff, you got to do that as well. But um yeah, just trying to stay busy. It's been weird, you know, staying in rooms all day and kind of being quarantined for a little bit. But, um, but yeah, we're getting we're getting used to it and just uh, just trying to stay busy. Watch a lot of film, uh, learn learn more about our next opponent is uh, is the main thing. 
Brian? Yeah, hey, Sasha. Uh, this might not apply as much to North Texas since they've played Charles Bassey of Western Kentucky, but obviously Trevion and Zach are pretty significant matchup advantages for you guys. With kind of going in the NCAA tournament where you don't see players like those guys every day in terms of Trevion's physicality and Zach's sheer size, what kind of advantage can that be for you guys? Um, I, I'm kind of thinking back a couple of years ago, I don't think people had seen Carson you know, necessarily uh, somebody like him in person. They've seen him on film, but I don't know how much film can really, you know, prepare you for something until you see it live. I'm, I've lost track of this question here, but no, what, kind of what kind of advantage can your big guys be in yeah, real life? I mean, yeah, it's just really, um, you know, just doing what they've done all year. I think, I think obviously Travion and, and Zach have been just really dominant when they get the ball down low and, uh, you know, sealing deep and, um, you know, showing their hands when they're posting up and, you know, doing really uh, a great job in ball screens and, and the defensive end, just making, making things tough in the post, uh, being up on ball screen defense, uh, you know, changing shots at the rim, whatever it may be. But, um, you know, I don't know if North Texas has seen players of their size and caliber and everything, but uh, regardless, it's, it's um, you know, when you have an all big 10 player like Travion and then you have a seven, four guy that, you know, finishes at the rim, it, it really helps you no matter what. So hopefully they could take that, uh, what they've been doing, you know, especially these past few games and um, continue to do it. We'll go Mike Carmen, uh, Tom, and then Kevin, and then that's it for Sasha. Yeah, Sasha, you get a sense that uh, the fact that Eric wasn't on the all defensive team from the Big Ten has put a chip on his shoulder if it wasn't already there? Yeah, I mean, I think it should. I think I think he was very well deserving of it. I think um, I think everybody on our team knows how, how how big he is for us on the defensive end and how hard he works at. He, he, you know he's gotten really better at that at end of end of the floor and um, you know for the entire entirety of the game he's up there jamming you know their best player. Um, uh, so yeah, I think he was very well deserving and you know. I'm sure, you know, he, he kind of gave a, a candid answer about it, but, you know, I would be upset if I was him too. So, um, but yeah, he's earned it and, you know, it is what it is. Uh, beginnings of, uh, beginnings of... Hey, Sasha, ahead, um, um, you guys came into the Big Ten tournament on a five game winning streak and playing with a lot of confidence. Uh, so, uh, you know, where do you guys stand, uh, um, mentally with this now? I mean, I, you guys feel good coming into this and, and where you want to be? I mean, yeah, I, obviously, I, I I mean, with that loss, obviously, you got to learn from the mistakes that we did. And um, it is what it is. You know, you're playing it three times in a year. It's tough. They're a great team. They're a two seed for a reason. And, um, but that doesn't change the fact that, uh, you know, how, uh, you know, we worked hard to get to this point. You know, we're a four seed. Not a lot of people thought that we would get here. And, um, you know, we worked hard for this moment. So, you know, we're we're happy with where we're at. And, you know, we've got to continue to to get better and, you know, just focus on Friday. Kevin, last one, please. Yeah, being the only uh, college team from Indiana in the tournament, does that mean something to you in terms of, you know, protecting the mantle of the state and the pride of the state going through this thing? Yeah, I mean, um, you know, us being obviously the only school from, from Indiana here and representing our state with this, uh, you know, this tournament obviously being hosted here is it's a big deal. I think we, uh, I don't know, it's just a cool thing, you know, being able to have the whole thing in, in Indy, having, seeing some schools play, play some games in Mackey Arena and Bloomington and Hinkle. And, you know, it's just a cool thing to see, um, you know, the NCAA tournament hosted by these historic schools. So uh, for us to be, the representation of Indiana. It's, it's a, it's a cool thing. Cool. All right. Thank you, Sasha. Thank you. Thanks, Sasha.